I am so excited. How are you? The curls are popping. How are you feeling tonight? Terrific. This is the hair do I wore in West Side Story. So we just curled it up a little more. But it's natural curl like yours is. Thanks. And I want to bring that up, the fact that 60 years ago, you were at that original premiere. I want to show you this photo really quickly. What do you remember most about that night? Well, look at my expression. You look happy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I was cute. You were real cute. Real <laughs> cute. Real cute. Uh, when you think about this night, do you have a favorite memory? How are you feeling as this star on the rise? I have a, an amazing man because I really honestly did not believe I was going to win an Oscar. Really? Judy Garland was up in the same category and at that time she was a very, very big deal as she had been for most of her life. And uh, when she was being photographed in a hospital room because she wasn't well, I thought, oh well, you know, that, that'll do it. Forgetting that people uh, vote way in advance. I, I was sure she was going to get it and so when my name was called out, Honestly, I was more amazed than you can possibly believe. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So deserved, and that was really just the start of such an illustrious career. To be back now, West Side Story, this reimagining, with Valentina really at the heart of it, what does that mean to you? Because I spoke with you, um, was it the Power of Women event? What were we just at? For Elle, Elle's Women in Hollywood yeah, event. Yep. Right. And you were talking to me about the fact that you didn't want a character just to be in the movie, and Spielberg told you, no. no we you know what I special. thought when he called me, my yeah. agent said, Steven Spielberg wants to call you about a West Side Story. And I said, right. uh, okay. Yeah. And he calls and he says, I would like so much for you to be in this movie and would you be interested? And in my nicest manner, mm -hmm. my most gentle, subtle manner, I said, well, you know, I certainly wouldn't want to tell you how to make your movie, but I don't do cameos. Ooh, and, and, I, and I said, I, I, I think that would really be a distraction and a detriment to your movie. And before yeah. I could finish, she said, no, no, this is a real part. It's not a cameo. Yeah. It's Doc's widow. And I said, Doc's widow? Yeah. Does she have a name? He said, of course, you have a part. Yeah. And her name is Valentina, which is such a gorgeous romantic name. Beautiful. And it's a terrific part. Uh -huh. Not as big as the other ones, but it's a telling part. Yeah. And she's the woman, she's the grown up in the room. And that's what Steven Spielberg said. He called me up by day when he was putting the movie together. He said, you know what? I just had to call you and tell you that you are the grown up in this room. Yeah, wow, wow. And really quickly, we heard story time with Rita. That was the thing, the lunch breaks, you would be telling the cast about this amazing life you have lived. Well, they would come and ask. They'd start trickling in where I was having my, you know, sandwich, whatever. Yeah. And they say, do you mind if I ask you a question? I said, no, I love that. It's, it was like mama. I need a story, Rita. I need story time with Rita. I know I might not get Marlon Brando, Elvis Presley level story, but what gem can you give me? You, you don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, no. he, he was tough. It, he was, it was the lust of my life, but the love of my life was my husband. So that's important. Yeah. Well, Rita, thank you so much for stopping. Congratulations. And Elvis had gorgeous teeth. Did he? The more you know. He was beautiful. Oh, I, the photos. He was beautiful, but he was a little, he was a country boy. And I was going with Marlon Brando at the time, just trying to make him jealous. Yeah, success. <laughs> thank you so much, Rita. Have fun in there tonight. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, y'all.